This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana. I honestly think Camden has that stylistically because he's faster, he's more precise, and he doesn't try to bury stuff. You know, Elvis looks to, even with his kicks, I mean, you have a ton of power, but um, he's always been a guy that's willing to take one to give one. He's willing to get in that trade. And that's okay, but when you go with a guy who's faster than you, he can sort of pick you apart. And we saw that with uh, Nate Diaz last fight. I actually thought uh, Cowboy Cerrone was a better striker, but they come in and Cerrone likes to bury stuff. He likes to weigh into it and sit on his punches and all that. And, and he just got picked apart on the feet. So the only thing he had was that was that trip and a little hip toss. That was it really on the standup. So I see, uh, you know, it's a different fight. Obviously, both the guys are different fighters, but I do see something similar in, in the faster man coming away with the better of the stand-up. Um, Martin Campman could go in anybody right now. He's focused. He's ready. You know, um, we're training with him right now for that fight. I'll be with him there, and um, I definitely think he's getting a victory. Oh yeah, those are the. That's the best weights right there. The most fun. Um, you know, most exciting fights. They're like cats. You know, in the cartoons when you see the smoke and it just a whole big commotion going on that's that's what that weight's gonna be like it's gonna be a bunch of transitions a bunch of combinations up down it's gonna be fun to watch that right there in Tokyo always always watched pride growing up pride actually got me into MMA just cuz I UFC had kind of died down for a little bit and I just started coming back up it was cool but pride had the elite guys at the time and they were kicking each other in the face and doing all kinds of crazy stuff foot stomps all that head stomps and um, I always wanted to fight there plus you'd see these crowds with just so many freaking people and you hear stories uh, you know certain guys that come back to AK like Frank Shamrock you talk about how the culture over there is completely different and they worship you like you go there and they literally they have comic books made of you where you're an action hero and you're all jacked up and you got like flaming weird hair but your face looks the same and it's just it's just crazy to, to it's just a whole different the whole different area you know you're on the other side of the world and I've always wanted to do that so I'm very even though I'm not on this card I'm very excited to get to go watch my teammate and friend Ryan Bader fight and uh, I'll be helping out uh, Helping out a couple of the guys there with some wrestling things like that, so it'll be good. It'll be good. You had the choice to fight, should be in my country, so in Africa, Congo, or Paris, France. But uh, for that, you know, let's see what's going on with the future. Uh, Bora Bora. Or Hawaii. The UFC's never gone to Hawaii, right? Hawaii. I'd like to see UFC in Hawaii. Um, I know a lot of people there. I used to live there. And uh, I know everybody out there would love UFC to come out there. That would be a big deal. Yeah. I want to fight in Ireland really bad. I do. I just think that would be fun. They love fights. And, uh, you know, my great-grandfather was... Uh, Irishman, so I would really love to go over there and fight. Have you ever been? It's gorgeous. I've never been. Wow. You know, that's one of the another reason why I would love to go fight in Ireland. It just has a lot of appeal to me. Yeah. You just gave yourself a name. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about, oh, I'd love to go to Greece or Italy, which, I mean, I know their economy is really bad right now, so I don't know how soon that's going to happen, but those are two places that I think would be exciting to go to. And the Philippines, of course. I think that's on the horizon really soon, too. Uh, okay. As far as uh, expanding, I think Russia would be a cool place. I know that they've got a strong history of fighting. They've got some great fighters from there, and um, you know, I think it'd be cool to, to see an event thrown in Russia. That's right, easy. Uh, Denmark, of course. You know, I want to see UFC go to Denmark. They got a show in Stockholm in April, and actually, when Joe Silva called me about my last fight, I you know I was asking about. No, nah, I want to go to the Stockholm card, you know, Sweden, but they wanted me on the Australia card where I'm fighting now, so I had to go there, you know, but, uh, you know, it, it's good, you know, I love they're coming to Sweden, but uh, I'd love to see them go to Denmark. So that's the next step, you know. I don't like fighting overseas, so I'll stay ready. I don't like fighting Canada either anymore. I fought twice there, like 2011 or 10, something like that, and uh, I want to stay right here. Vegas, I like Vegas, it's close. Our flight, easy, um, like California. You know what? I, You know what? It's like this. I'd like to see him do it as a fan because I've loved watching BJ fight since I was, you know, since I was in high school. But you can't, you can't forget, BJ Penn's been fighting for a very long time. He's been putting his body through everything you could think of. And if he's happy not fighting anymore, then you know what? I'm happy for him. 
Uh, it should be great for him, you know, especially for his public and for his fans, you know, but uh, it should be, yeah, it should be shame, you know, he take the retired right now, but, you know, if he's tired and he wants to do something else, you know, that's pretty good, especially uh, for his family. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, for real. You know, I, it's wonderful to see the UFC thinking about going, though. That, that'll be a nice shot in the arm for Hawaii, you know. I mean, it's, a, it's only a shot in the arm if people fly to Hawaii, though, because if people in Hawaii all change money, their money changes hands, and it's not a shot in the arm. So we need people from outside to fly to Hawaii, and then that will help it tr tremendously. This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana.